Hey there, I'm posting this video because I saw this question where this user was asking about a way to know who edited the description and what they changed it to. And there's not a native way to do that because if you look in uh, native Trello, if you edit the description, you can see different activity at the bottom of the card, but it doesn't show when the uh, description changes. But I was able to make a rule that does this. So the way it works is, uh, whenever a comment or the description changes, it runs a action in Butler that posts a comment with who did it and what the description is. So I think that's exactly what you're looking for and it's super easy to set up. Just go to automation, then rules, and then you want this one. So when the description of a card contains, which will be under content, um, here, I'll actually start it from scratch in case you want to see what that looks like. Automation rules, create rule. You want to go to add trigger, card content. When the description of a card, I just said contains, and then I basically use this regex that I used in something else the other day. This is just regex for basically saying content exists. Like there are words in there. So when the description of a card contains any sort of words, then you want to go back again to comment and you want to post a comment. And this is where you'll use Butler variables. And if you've never used them before, they're really, really powerful at grabbing details from the card to make the automation. So you want to know the username of who did the action. So that's, that's what the at user, the username does. It will show that. If you want to actually tag the person, you can put at in front of it, but I assume you just want to log. So you want to say username and then you can say change the description to and you could do a couple things here. I believe this accepts markdown, so we could actually make it like, I can't remember what exactly is the quote markdown, but wh whichever one of those it is, but you could just do um, backslash n to make a new line, and then you wanna reference the variable card description. And so once you do that, your rule's gonna look just like this other one that I've got set up. And yeah, just like this. Regex, when the description of card contains any word, post a comment, so-and-so edited the description to card description. And you can see, I'll show you once again how that works. You can see what the description was because there will be a comment below it. And then, oh no, I changed it. It logs that action below. So now you can see if it's accidentally changed, you can actually go back and restore it. I think this could be really handy. So I might make some more videos on this, but let me know if it helps.